What's up guys? Week 6 of the EULCS just finished up and things are getting messy. Luckily, we're here to get you caught up in a flash. After their 9-game winning streak ended against Fnatic, Misfits looked to get back on the horse in the first game of Week 6 against Unicorns of Love. Misfits took an early lead with aggressive bot lane play and quickly dismantled the Unicorns around the map, earning a clean 29-minute victory. H2K were still hoping for their first win of the split, so they subbed in Kadriel for jungle and moved Shook to mid. However, the substitution didn't work out for them, and once Rocket dominated an essential teamfight in the mid lane, they immediately transitioned to Baron. From there, it only took four minutes to close out the game. A familiar face returned to the EULCS when Kikis replaced Gilius on Team Vitality's roster against Giants Gaming. It got off to a rocky start for Vitality when Giants picked up three kills in a bot lane skirmish. Then, a messy fight in mid gave Giants the opening to secure Baron uncontested. But Vitality scraped their way back into the game after a slick TP play to finish off a retreating Giants. Knocked away, stunned up Cabo now in the front line. The one that has to carry Jazuke comes in and that is one dead Ezreal. Vitality find the flank they need, they'll take the double. And when Kiki's picked off Ruin, it gave them the chance to take Baron. In the ensuing push, Vitality proved to just be too tanky for Giants and earned their sixth victory of the split. Critics were skeptical when Splice took on G2 after the squad had yet to take a win off of G2's 2018 roster. And they were right when G2 sprinted out to an early lead and continued to wreck Splice all over the map. Splice watched helplessly as their base crumbled around them and G2 earned one of their quickest wins of the split. Fnatic and Schalke closed out day one with the EULCS match of the week. Fnatic started the game by gaining a massive advantage in the mid lane, looking to shut down Nukeduck. They're gonna go for the double tower dive. And Schalke tried to claw their way back into the game, but Fnatic just continued to force fights all around the map, refusing to give Schalke time to scale. Schalke did what they could, but Fnatic proved to just be too much to handle. And with that, the teams went home to rest and get ready for day two. Rocka and Vitality started off Saturday in a battle for fourth place. The match had an action-packed start as Vitality charged forward, earning an early lead. They continued to aggressively force fights with their trundle clad Galio combo, stacking up kills and the advantage. When Vitality were knocking on Rockat's door, the Cats tried one last desperate engage, but they were too far behind as Vitality took home the win. With only three wins each in the summer split, Giants and the Unicorns of Love were looking to pick up an easy game. Both teams traded kills and a few towers before Unicorns gained a slight gold lead with a fantastic team fight. Even with Giants fighting back, the Unicorns trampled them to take Baron and win the game. Unicorns of Love showing they are the stronger team fighters. Then, the 0 11 H2K faced off against Fnatic. They pulled out an interesting comp with a double jungle and a duo mid, but Caps put a stop to that early. And unsurprisingly, Fnatic were just too strong and decimated H2K, only losing one tower during their ninth win of the split. After a tough match against Fnatic, Shelka Nilfia's next opponent was G2. Shalka got off to a good start when Nukeduck picked up first blood on Zed. Nukeduck looking for the kill, the flash! Deathmark! Shalka gets first blood, the year of the Nukeduck is back, baby! And they steadily picked up kills until Vander landed an absolutely insane four man knockup. Oh, huge! The four man knockup in the jungle! Nukeduck comes in, and G2 have nowhere to run, they all flash away! After picking up Baron, Shalka realm warped into G2's base to finish them off and pick up a well-earned win. Splice looked to remain in the playoff hunt against Misfits in the last matchup of Week 6. Both teams were playing incredibly carefully, with only 4 kills at the 38 minute mark. But Splice stalled out, and Kobe came online when he sniped a double kill, then completely eviscerated Misfits for a clean ace and the game. And that's a wrap for Week 6. Shalka is sitting tied with Vitality for fourth place, and with the race for playoffs in motion, things are heating up here at the EULCS. Especially so for Fnatic and G2, who will face off next in our match of the week. Make sure to tune in when EULCS continues on August 3rd at 5.30pm CEST. You won't want to miss it.